So we are on the way to a place to get some sage for the house because Bree thinks we have a ghost in the house. No, I don't think that we have a ghost. Just to rid negative energy. To rid negative energy. So I've never done this before. See how it goes. But I don't know. Positivity and prosperity and all the negative energy out the window. All right guys, so reasons why we saged the house. A few things in the new place that's been occurring and I haven't really shared this guy with you on camera much, but I figured this is the perfect time since we kind of opened up the thing with the whole walking around with like the sage and burning and all that, which by the way did not smell too well. So we actually got some incense with that. So what's happened? So first occurrence. Before we left to LA and Vegas, I was locking the door, fixing to go somewhere to run an errand. Walking to the elevators to go, you know, go downstairs to get to my car. So in that area is like a little common area where people go and congregate to wait for the elevator to come down. So as I was walking over there, you usually can hear somebody like in that area because you hear them walking around or talking or rustling their keys or something, like adjusting something to get ready to go. And I heard somebody moving around like they're walking around shuffling their feet, uh, you know, waiting for the elevator. I was like, okay, we just moved into this floor. I'm gonna go ahead and introduce myself since I don't know anybody on the 18th yet. I walked over there, turned the corner expecting to see somebody and there was nobody there. And I looked around, I was like, I know I just heard somebody walking around here because one, I can tell what it sounds like when somebody's in their house doing it versus out in the hallway when you can clearly hear a little bit better uh, what it sounds like. And it sounded like somebody's walking around with their footsteps just waiting for the elevator. And there was nobody there. So that was the first encounter. Second. And the last one I've had so far. When we got back from LA, uh, me and my wife were very jet lagged. I went the whole Vegas trip, then went to LA, had a lot of fun. So I think the, the second, the first day back, or the second day back, we passed out from work. We passed on the couch like it was like five o'clock. It was about six something, my wife got up, I heard her get up to go, we were getting ready to go to the gym. And uh, I was still kind of really tired of staying asleep. And um, I heard her get up and I, she went to the back room, our, our bedroom, and um, I just like, I'm too tired, I can't go back, I can't get up just yet. So I'm back to sleep. Not even 30 seconds after she got up, I felt something on my shoulder tap me twice. Just like that, very subtly, it went like tap, tap. And I was like, okay, that's probably her waking me up. So I opened my eyes, look, nobody there. And I was like, what the hell? It freaked me out. I didn't want to tell her at first. I didn't say anything to her until like a few days later because she said she's been kind of feeling just weird in the house. Like she just has feel so like sluggish lately, like not wanting to get the motivation to go, just really just tired. And she wouldn't feel like in our last apartment because we live in the same building. We live down a little bit lower floors. You know, she just never felt that way in the last part. But here she just says she felt just so sluggish and tired and just weird. And these two past encounters I've had had just been completely strange. And I can't explain it. Um, from the whole shuffling in the hallway to the tapping on my shoulder to wake me up on the couch right there. Um, actually, Louis, show them where the couch is right there. So right here, I was laying across right here. Sorry, the blankets are everywhere. I was laying right here and it felt like somebody went over here and just went tap, tap. Very, very slightly. I don't know, guys. I mean, what do you think? Do you really believe in ghosts or something? Uh, it didn't freak me. It didn't scare me enough to where it really like shoved me or pushed me like you hear on ghost stories, like on TV, like a ghost adventures or anything like that where they're pushing you. It was just a subtle tap tap. Like, I don't know, getting kind of chills thinking about it, but it was just weird, so. This thing's gonna be better. Get in. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, if only we can have it away. See if we have. Yes. Taco seasoning ground turkey, probably the best stuff you can buy. This stuff is so good. So, what we're making is. Well, you'll see what we get there, but this is one of the final things you need for this recipe. Wipe them all out right here. Let's take all of them down. So, the fat free cheese. You might get like shredded ones too, fat free, but a lot of times they don't have it, so. Cheddar, it's like usually like right here. This one, they never have fat free cheese. Just going with the uh, regular stuff. Granted, it's nine grams of fat, less than one gram of carbs, zero sugar, six grams of protein. So uh, we'll just limit the amount of cheese we put on here. So 
So you can either go with the light or fat free since we're like trying to go as healthy as possible. We're shooting the fat free right now. Trust me, it's going to be good. I know it's like a weird combination. <laughs> so this is actually probably the simplest recipe you can make, guys. It's literally just lettuce, meat, and cheese, and a little bit of ranch. So like healthy macros are great. It's low fat too. Well, besides the higher fat cheese, but we'll limit that. So, <laughs> but literally, like you can make this up literally less than 10 minutes. So when we go back to the house, I'll show you. And sorry if the sound quality's not too good. We're on the iPhone because we need to like bring in the whole cam crew. There's like 10 of us in here right now filming this, so. <laughs> All right guys, so recipe I'm making is literally called easy mode because it is that easy, easy mode, easy mode. So that being said, this is what you need. You will need taco seasoning ground turkey. It's the Ginny O brand, so it's really easy. It's all your grocery stores. Um, literally, it's like nine grams of fat, two grams of carb, 19 grams of protein. So a little bit higher in fat. It's not, they don't have the lean, the lean turkey one, but um, okay. So cheddar cheese. I mean, you can or mild cheddar. You can get any type of cheese you want. Um, obviously, I wanted this one, the fat-free, but they did not have that one. So we're just gonna improvise and go with this one. Nine grams of fat as well, less than a gram of carbohydrate, and six grams of protein. So got that, and then the last but not least, or well not really the last part but lettuce. So just simple shredded lettuce. I mean, literally a zero everything, almost like two grams of carbs and like two grams of sugar, one gram of protein. So shredded lettuce, iceberg, and fat-free ranch, just for flavor. So you can add this if you want to, not necessarily. Not a necessity because the ground turkey taco seasoning is already bomb, so it's really good. I just say bomb. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, last part right here. So with that being said, let's get this fired up. Basic guys, simple start. Just brown the meat. Just cook it up. Bacon can smell so good. It really smells like that taco seasoning smell. We'll just brown this meat up, and that's pretty much it, guys. As soon as this is browned up, I mean, it's done. All you do is add the ingredients of the lettuce and the cheese and the ranch. That's why it's called easy mode. So literally, after you cook that up, guys, throw it here in the pan, let it drain out all the like. Stuff that comes off of it when it's done. Cool. All right. What we're gonna do is just make a serving of everything. So get your lettuce. I mean, you can add as much lettuce as you want. It's really not that bad. So for example, one serving of this is one and a half cups, three ounces, so 85 grams. There, it's three ounces. So that's a serving right there. Four ounces of this. 28 grams is a serving, so nine grams of fat. We'll do like, do like maybe just a little bit of it. We'll only do like, maybe it's like 10 grams. All right, so we'll just do a little bit of that and then the fat-free ranch. So again, it's two taste. It's zero everything for only six grams of carbs. So, woo! Okay, <laughs> some of that. that came out. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably good enough right there, guys. Yep. So that's it. I mean, literally, you get that. It's only like ground turkey meats, lettuce, cheese, and that's it. You can add some salt and pepper if you like to, but literally you mix it up without splitting everywhere. And it's pretty much like a little homemade, not really chipotle bowl, but just kind of like, I don't know, anything. It's good guys. That meat makes it everything, so. What we'll do is I'll post all the macros right here so you can see exactly what we're working with. And um, yeah guys, really healthy, easy option. I mean, especially if you don't have much time to like to cook or don't like to. Literally, I could eat this bowl every single day because it's just so good and so easy. So, you know guys, it tastes really good, so I wish you could taste it. It's like small box. Uh, what's your order? Mongolian beef. Mongolian beef. It's kind of like a stir fry. Mm -hmm. Looks it good. Looks good. Man. Yeah. Let's see. Mongolian beef again. S'mores protein pancakes. Oh my god. It has been oh. a while since we've had this one. Oh, look at that. It just looks good. Like, it was like the battery stuff in there, I guess. I don't know. It looks so good. Eat that like right now. <laughs> Man. Strong.
strong smell. And s'mores protein pancakes again. And the last one she got is ch chocolate protein cheesecake. Mm. What? Chocolate mm. protein cheesecake? Wow, it's like a single like piece of cheesecake. Except it's like, like it's not a traditional square thing or triangle one. Yeah. I don't know. I call me those guys. But anyway, that's gonna conclude this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed all what you've seen so far. <laughs> from the ghost hunting to the, we go from ghost hunting to cooking. It's like kind of like a new like swing on things here. Whole new Martha Stewart, actually Paula Dean. So put a little butter on it, put a little ghost on it. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible joke. Comment guys, if you have any questions regarding any things you saw, prior videos, workouts, food. Um, again, I'll leave the macros right there so you can see exactly what we made today. See exactly what the fat, carbs, and. Uh, protein was. Have a great rest of your week guys and love you guys and don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you guys on the next one.